the younger of the twin brothers hailing from the nowhere lands. Today's character breakdown is Lucas, who made his first appearance in Mother 3 for the Game Boy Advance. And some fun facts about our golden-haired boy, Mother 3 has yet to be localized in the US, Mother 3 has yet to be localized in the US, and Mother 3 has yet to be localized in the US. Nintendo, would you just localize the What's up, YouTube? I'm Choctopus coming at you with another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character breakdown. This week, we're going to be focusing on Lucas from Mother 3. Now, keep in mind, this is a weekly series, so if there's a character you want to see specifically, let me know in the comment section below, because that's how I decide who's going to be up for the following week. Also, feel free to go back and check out some of my other character breakdowns. I think this is our fourth or fifth one. I lost count already. So, go check out my playlist of other characters, and in some cases, moving forward, we may be grouping characters with their Echo Fighters, but that's not the case for Ness and Lucas because they're two completely different fighters. But with that being said, let's get into the breakdown. Lucas's neutral A is this kick. You can hold the attack button down and he'll just do it over and over again, but if you get close enough and you hold it down, whether you hold it or tap it, it's going to turn into this, uh, this three kick combo. It's not a bad little neutral combo to get some quick damage on your enemy, especially because it comes out so fast, so I suggest using it often. I'm a fan of Lucas's dash attack because it has some good range, and it also has a sweet spot that deals more damage. So if you're dashing towards your enemy, you want to hit your attack button probably earlier than later, because if you get too close, it doesn't deal as much damage. So it's an additional 5%, or almost 5% if you hit with the sweet spot, which is the very tip of of the dash attack. Now, you can tell when you hit with the tip because it's gonna deal more damage, first of all, but also Ken's going to freeze for a second. There's gonna be that one second delay where he's kind of stunned, and then he's knocked back, whereas if you get too close, you can tell because there's no there's no stun, or there's, there's even less stun. So, when you're using his dash attack, try to hit the attack button earlier so you can catch him with the end of it. Lucas has some powerful smash attacks, and out of the three of them, you're probably going to be using his forward smash the most because it comes out the fastest. Now, don't get me wrong, you should absolutely use his up smash and down smash when you can, but be very choosy about it because they have very high frames, so if you miss, you're going to get punished big time. But Ken is at about 90% right now, which seems fine, uh, and just like Lucas's dash attack, his forward smash has a sweet spot, so if you're all the way up on your enemy and use his forward smash, you might not get the kill, especially if your opponent is DI'ing out of it. However, if you're only a little further back and use your forward smash, it's the difference between getting a KO and your opponent being able to DI and possibly recover, and who knows what happens after that. It's only a couple inches with the stick, and all this talk of inches and sticks and sweet spots, we may not get monetized in this video, but keep in mind, when you're going for a KO with your forward smash, try not to be all up on top of them if possible. You know, take a step back if you can, and hit them with the tip, and just the tip, so you can get that KO. But yeah, going back to his up smash and his down smash, his up smash fully charged, I think does around 40%, which is insane. So, hang on, let's, let's fully charge this. Let's see. 38.6%. If we use it quicker than that, 27. That's still incredibly strong. His down smash, 20%. Let's see. Let's go a little longer. Fully charged, it looks like 28%. Does that have a sweet spot? I don't know if it does. I don't think so. But you can get kills pretty low with these two smashes. So let's bring Ken to a... Let's go to 60. I think an up smash will... Yes. Oh, no. Nope, maybe not. Maybe if we go a little higher than that, let's go to 70. Thought we had him for a second. Almost, so it's it's getting there. Same goes for Lucas's down smash. You know, it is another smash attack that takes a lot of frames, but it has really good knockback and maybe not as much potential to kill as low as his up smash, but, you know, even at like 30%, you know, at 30%, you can send your opponent pretty far. Okay, let's talk about Lucas's special move. So, you have his neutral B, which is chargeable, and that is his PK Freeze. Uh, his PK Freeze is probably one of the best skills that he has for ledge guarding. So, if you knock your opponent off, let's, uh, let's take Ken up to like 50% so we can knock him decently far off the stage. But if you knock your opponent off the stage, 
you can ledge guard really well with his neutral B because if you catch them with it, it's going to send them backwards and possibly for a kill at pretty low damages. His side B is PK Fire. Now, unlike Ness, when you use Lucas's PK Fire, it doesn't trap you in a vortex of flames and sadness. So keep that in mind that you're not going to be really using it as a combo starter, but it's good for zoning and doing some quick damage. And also it doesn't angle downward like it does with Ness. So if you're using it in the air, you can use it into a short hop and try and catch your enemy, or if your enemy is coming up in the air and you want to zone them, you can do that as well. Overall, it's just good for spamming and being annoying and getting some damage on your enemies. You can even use it to ledge guard, but uh, honestly, if you're going to be ledge guarding, I'd rather use PK Freeze. Lucas's down B is a Psy Magnet, which heals more and comes out faster than Ness's down B, and you can use it to absorb either energy-based projectiles or small explosions and gain some quick health. So let's have Ken go to neutral specials. We'll take some damage here. Um, I don't know exactly how much it heals. I think it might be like 6%, so we're at 33% right now. So, yeah, it looks to be... Actually, it's like 11%, which is not bad. And you can hold it down, so if you're playing against someone who is spamming projectiles and they are energy-based, you can use it to heal up or to absorb them. Also, if you get close enough to your enemy, it will kind of pull them in because it is a magnet. And upon releasing, it does a little bit of damage. And by a little bit, I mean around 9%. So it's not bad to use, even up close. His up B is PK Thunder. Now, just like Ness, you're able to control it. This is what you're going to be using to recover as well. His recovery is incredibly difficult because you do have to aim it. So if you're not good with it, I suggest practicing a lot. You know, jump off the stage in training. Jump as far as you can. See what you can do, how far you can make it. And work on doing small circles to get... Lucas back to the stage. It's like I said, it's going to take some practice because angles are everything here. If you are just a hair off with your angles, you're not going to make it back. You're going to end up self destructing. Last but not least, it is a decent attack. So if you can pull it off and steer it into yourself to deal some damage to your opponent, you can do it. But honestly, Lucas has so many better options when it comes to racking up damage or confirming a KO than using his PK Thunder because. Like I said, it's difficult to pull off. If you end up off the stage, you're done. Lucas's tilts are pretty chainable, especially his down tilt where you can kind of just spam it and spin around like a top. But at lower damages, you can get up on your enemy and kind of just, you know, get a couple quick tilts in there to deal some damage. Now, his up tilt is more powerful, but obviously it's slower. So you might not be able to get as many in there, but you can get a good two or three before they, uh, they get out of it. And just like his dash attack and his forward smash, his forward tilt also has a sweet spot. So if you get all the way up on your enemy, it's just going to deal physical damage, and it does, what, like 9%, whereas if you get them with the tip of it, it's going to have that same stun that his dash attack has, and it deals 13% damage. So if you're going for tilts, you know, it might be a little tougher, but try to get them with the end of the tilt as opposed to being all the way up on them because you can get that extra damage, and you can get that second of stun. Okay, let's talk about Lucas's air attacks because they're all really good. They come out fast. Some of them are multi-hit. They have low landing lag, so you're going to be using them a lot. Now, his neutral air is this spin attack. You can short hop into it. Uh, it's not what I would be starting combos with. I think it's better mid-combo. But his down air, which is this, uh, this stomp attack, I'd be using that to start combos because you can short hop down air right into something like an up tilt neutral air and deal some pretty good damage. And you can follow up with something like a forward air or a back air. So get comfortable with short hopping into a into a down air, into an up tilt, into a neutral air. I think that's probably one of your early damage bread and butter combos. So short hop, down air, up tilt, neutral air, and then you can forward air or back air after that or whatever. And like every other one of Lucas's forward attacks, his forward air also has a sweet spot. So you're going to deal more damage and stun for a second if you hit them with the tip of your toe as opposed to if you hit them with your entire leg. Lucas's back air is this super satisfying backflip kick that will actually spike your opponent at pretty low damages. So it's really good. So if you get your opponent off the ledge at, let's say, 60 damage, and you hit them with the... Oh, you got to hit them with the end of the kick, though. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And you pivot... Hit them with the back air. If we can hit Ken. Come on, Ken. Don't make me look bad in my own video. One eternity later. 
There you go. So around what, like 56 damage, you were able to to spike him. Yeah, if you want to get really good at it, you know, work on running into a pivot into a short hop back air because that's what you're probably going to be using as they're recovering. You know, you can even in some cases catch them at the end of the ledge as they're recovering. So you don't even have to jump off the stage. You can pivot and catch them right here. Last up, we have Lucas's grab, which is this tether grab with his snake. It has good range to it, so you can grab from pretty far away. Um, also, you can use it to catch the ledge. So if you're in a, if you're in trouble and you're not as good with his up B, you can use his snake to grab the ledge. However, you do have to be facing the right way. Otherwise, he's not going to turn and grab it. So if you're facing the wrong way, don't even try it because you're going to end up falling off the edge. Better to give the, uh, the up B a go. But if you're facing the right way, you know, all the way from back here, you can use his tether grab, grab the ledge, and recover. Okay, you have his down throw, which actually buries for a second before it knocks them up. You have his up throw, you have his forward throw, and then you have his back throw. Let's bring Ken back down to 0%. His down throw combos really well early into things like his, uh, his neutral air or his forward air. However, like I said, you're probably going to be starting most combos with his down air, because I just think it's better out of the short hop, but... Don't be afraid to try different things. You know, you can use his down air. Uh, his up air is pretty good into up, or his up throw is good into up air, I should say. So you can use that as well. I don't think that's his best, but it's not bad. I personally like his back throw because I think his back throw, even at low damages, has some pretty good range. And you can set up into a running short hop into another combo. His forward throw, I think, is probably the worst of the bunch, but you can use it if you know you're going to get a kill, so... Let's bring Ken up to, I think even at like 120%, it won't even kill. So let's, uh, let's bring him all the way up. Let's see, will this knock him out? Not really. But then again, I don't think any of his throws will kill even around 120 damage. So you're going to be relying on your forward smash to get some kills or his, uh, or his back air when you have them off the ledge. Or you can even use his up smash or his down smash. But like I said, those are risky because... There's a lot of frames, so it's going to it's going to take a lot of time to get them out. And if you miss, you can be punished. That's it for Lucas's breakdown. Now, please keep in mind, this is meant to be a general overview of the character. There are more advanced techniques that I really didn't go into, but if you want to see them or if you want to see any follow-up videos to specific characters, let me know in the comment section below. And also, while you're down there, be sure to vote on who you want to see for next week's character breakdown. That's completely how I decide who we're going to be breaking down uh, each week. It's 100% dependent on you guys and who you want to see and who you vote for. So if there's someone specific you want to see, let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're almost at 20k subs, which is wild to me. And thank you so much to everyone for your support and your kind words and for watching my videos. You can join my Discord channel as well if you want to come hang out with us and play some games. Uh, it's an awesome place, and it's becoming an awesome communi community, I can't speak, with awesome people. So there's a link to all those things in the description. Feel free to go there. I do stream on Twitch. Uh, this is coming out on a Friday, so tomorrow is Saturday, and I will be streaming. I'll also be streaming on Sunday. Go follow me on Twitch, but thanks for watching. Go forth and play some Lucas, kick some butts, hit some PK fire, get some spikes in there. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.